Into dust, God breathed life, and that dust became a person, a living soul. What is life? A wise person once reflected. I indulged and experimented with every pleasure. Have a good time, they said, but there was nothing to it. Nothing but smoke. With the help of a bottle of wine and all the wisdom of those around me, I tried my best to fathom the absurdity of life. I came up empty. I did great things. Built houses, palaces, homes that most could only dream of. I built an empire. I had people working for me, who had people working for them. I was a master over men. I had more possessions than I could have ever used, more toys than I could store. I piled up silver and gold, lit from kings and kingdoms. Everything I wanted I took. I never said no to myself. I gave in to every impulse, held back nothing. I sucked the marrow of pleasure out of every task. My reward to myself for a hard day's work. Then I took a good look at everything I'd done, looked at all the sweat and hard work. But when I looked, I saw nothing but smoke. Smoke and spitting into the wind. There was nothing to any of it. Nothing. But what if this ordinary dust, this seemingly empty soil of our lives, was the very place in which God chose to bring forth His glory? What if fullness of life was not about what we could build upon, but actually allowing God to plant within us the seed that would blossom into something glorious? Is it possible that for the world to experience the beauty and goodness of God's kingdom, He is looking for those who would empty their life of all that we strive to build, and instead be vessels? Vessels made of glorious dust that bear the image of the king into every corner and crack in society. Light in the darkness. Hope to the hopeless. Life where there is death. Justice where there is injustice. Freedom wherever people are captive. Good news to a world searching. Our life is glorious dust in which God's kingdom takes root and from which something glorious grows and the world can never be the same.